let's just take a small bandage. I want to save the big bandages for when things are really bad. Come here, Steve. <laughs> oh my goodness. You've been scalped, dude. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we're going to go out and about and do another quest for the uh, second half of the, this day. And we're also going to start picking up uh, resources, cobblestone in particular, uh, but also uh, we can make cobblestone in vanilla, I think, right? In our, yeah, and, and clay and stone. <clears throat> uh, I mentioned in last couple episodes that I've been playing uh, up until this came out anyways, Undead Legacy. So in Undead Legacy, you can't make cobblestone in your own inventory. Or maybe you can, but you have to make the cobblestone blocks in a special workstation or something like that. That's why I wasn't quite sure uh, about that. So anyway, um, we are going to go do this next quest over here. And, uh, see, last time we came over here, there was a, a sleeper, but I'd like to get this medical stuff. Oh, look at that. Nice. Did we loot this thing? Yeah, we did. Hmm. I don't know. Did we actually wake that sleeper up and kill it at some point? Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. We will take those. Yes, indeed, we will. Let's head around this way. I already looted most of these cars around here. Crack a cafe. Crack a cafe? It's not like crack a book. Let's see what's in here. The Malone Residence. Okay. I believe I've done the older version of this house before. Let's double loot the car. Okay, another axe there. There's all bone here. Nope, doesn't look like it. And we'll get this. Uh, we don't need this because I don't... Yeah, it's not going to be any better. So we'll scrap this. Put this down here. And we'll get this cobblestone. Actually, we get a combination of a lot of different things out of these. They want us to... Yeah, that's right. They want us to go upstairs first. Okay, anything outside we could grab real quick? Uh, it doesn't really look like it. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Do the car again. And the trash bins again. And the cobblestone thingy again. Do we not get any cobblestone from those? I thought there was a chance we could get a little bit. And maybe there is. We just didn't didn't get lucky. <coughs> oh, look at that. Nice. Duct tape. Okay, let's head up here. Oh, shit. That scared me. You scared me, man. Damn it. Uh, let's just take a small bandage. I want to save the big bandages for when things are really bad. 
nest if you. <laughs> oh my goodness. You've been scalped, dude. You've been totally scalped. Ah, we got a laceration too. And you know what? Guess who left his frickin'. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of sewing kits back at home. I mean, I know this will cure the laceration. You know what? Screw it. We can't walk around for two hours with a laceration. We're just going to take it. All right. I think that's going to be all the badness we have to deal with in this first little part up here. We'll take that. We don't care about that. Um, We could sell those, I guess. Shotgun parts. Nice. Yeah, I I actually have been carrying around a sewing kit for that very reason, but when I put stuff away earlier, I forgot to grab one. So it's actually quite fortunate that we found those um, uh, large med medikits there. Okay, is there going to be the Zombadoodle in here? No, there isn't. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to remember what happens when we jump down. There might be Zeeks that come out that way or out of the kitchen or maybe both ways. I see three zombos in the kitchen area. Okay. One I can actually shoot at from here. I don't think I'm going to get a headshot. Whoops. Did not mean to do it that way. We can pull one and not all three of them. Uh, dude, where are you going? Okay, let's do this. That's an Edgar. We can't, uh, All right, well then let's do this then. We should put this over here so we don't, um... All right, come here, Edgar. <laughs> come here. Can't hit the bastard. All right, this isn't working so well. Um, let's grab this and let's go let's grab this. Okay, no samba doodles in here. Then we had some water. In there. Well, I don't know what to do about this. I mean, I guess we could try and shoot him with the bow. When I kept trying to spear him, it's like it. Is it hitting him? Okay, he hit him that time. There we go. Now it's hitting them. Another laceration? 
Son of a bitch. Well, so, <laughs> so much for uh, using uh, or, or saving our big medikits for later because we kind of needed them now. It's just, it's just that the spear hitting through here is really kind of weird. Look at that, we got a skill point. Okay, come here. See, it's actually hitting him when it's, it doesn't visibly look like it should be. It's just really odd. Still not done. We haven't cleared the place. Whew, that was more of a pain in the butt than it should have been. Um, okay, so. Oh, I'll bet you I'll bet you we get leather from these couches. Oh, there we go. Now <laughs> we get a freaking oh, sewing kit. Seriously? Yes, we get leather from these. Okay, so here. Let me um let me put that down so we can all see what's going on here. Very nice. Okay. Now, let's break this so we can get in the kitchen. Because I think we have to... We already looted this, right? Yeah. Here, let's get this for the plastic. I think we have to get in the kitchen to... Get over to where we gotta go get the end loop. There we go. Cornbread and goldenrod tea. Fantastic. Uh, does that mean we can also do red tea as well? Food, 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 worse food. No, really. So red tea's still locked, but we can now do cornbread and goldenrod tea. I figured goldenrod tea and red tea would be the equivalent of each other since they both give you the same amount of water, but different buffs. Goldenrod being <clears throat> for removing uh, or reducing the time, I guess, that you have dysentery. And the other one for the the buff that you get. Come here, dude. Oh, he's stuck in there. Can't, uh... Look like you can hit through those. Okay. I don't know why the hell you can't shut those doors again. Let's grab this chair. We're probably going to have to do a drop chest again because we are kind of encumbered. All right. Let's close that door. goes back out into the gay roll. Okay. Right, I remember this. We have to work our way through the basement to get to the other side of the house. Okay. Um haven't you broken that yet? And the reach on the spear is Amazing. I think this guy's tougher than a little tougher than a base zombo. It just seems like he's tougher than he should be. Don't want to get too far away from the house here. Uh, but you know what I think we'll do? Let's go back over just out in front of the garage and do a drop chest because we're we just got too much stuff now. How did I forget to check this? What does this do? Puffer coats. All right. Well, that'll come in handy at some point.
Okay, let's uh, drop a few things off here. Uh, I think we'll eat this. And we'll eat this. But I'm not going to eat this right now because of the uh, thirst debuff that we get. Come here, boat. No, don't be doing that shit. I hate it when they do that. Does that make him stand back up? The problem is, when if you stand up on this like I just did there, then they can hit you. So, yeah, that's why I don't like it. All right, you know what? Let's let's just take another one of these. Um, we could take this, but that's eighty health. <clears throat> we only need about uh twenty thirty a uh, thirty ish. So, and pl now that we can make these two, let's just take one of these. Okay, so there's two more dots down here. Just trying to get their attention. Where are they? Final one. How dark is it without our light? Eh, it's not too bad. Let's see if we can get a sneaky snake. <laughs> Come here, darling. Over here. Give me my arrow back. Thank you. Stick your head out. <laughs> uh, okay, we're still not done. There's more Zeeks. Up that way. Let's go back in here and look around real quick first before we proceed. Trash up there. Pumpkin seeds. We can make can we make pumpkin bread right yet? I don't think so. Oh, we got some cobblestone out of that one. Nice. Um, does, what does this give? Wood? Yeah, that's probably just wood. What does this give? Paper. This is probably stone. Okay. Hmm. something get up steel knuckle bolts in that closet maybe
fucking shit. Is he coming? Yeah, here he comes. That's a yo. There we go. We got him. Okay, let's go get the fat loots and then skedaddle back on to Jen because it is starting to get a little bit late. Nice picture. Let's see what we have here. Nice. The food is definitely in the loot in this game. So, I got. I gotta say, I'm uh. Nice. I'm pretty good. Uh, pretty impressed with Alpha 21 so far. Uh, one thing that, and I don't, I don't want to jinx myself, but performance has been really good, and it also, it also um, doesn't seem to have a lot of bugs either. So bravo! Ooh, look at that. Hey, we got a, one of our first aid kits bad back. Uh, so bravo, um, fun pimps for Alpha 21. You guys have done a great job on this. 10% uh, more damage with 44s. We'll take the pistol and the ammo. So we now have three pipe weapons. That doesn't suck. And I have some more ammo, you know, back at the base too. Um, okay, so I think we're finished here. Uh, so let's get get back to Jin. I'm gonna have have two drop chests now. We're gonna have to come back for. I'm gonna take those so that we can repair this. And let's see. We'll take the glue. We'll take that. We'll take the water. The duct tape. Uh. Okay. So we're already encumbered. Anything else? I want to take these for selling. All of and we'll take those for selling. I think all of the rest of this we're probably going to want to keep. Um, let's put the paper there and the pumpkin seed there, and we'll eat the chili right now. <clears throat> and we should drink a water right now too. Okay, that's pretty good. We can come back for the rest of this later. Um, I should probably mark it, though. I didn't mark the other one, but I think it was just right right there, wasn't it? Wasn't it in front of this farmhouse? Yeah. The chests are a little harder to see now. Just trying to see if there's anything in here we want to sell to Jen. I don't think so because I left all this stuff before for her. Okay, yeah, I'll have to come back and get both of these chests later. Uh, but we can do that tomorrow. Did we look at all of these? We didn't. Robotics. Paper, which I'm going to actually leave in there. Medical. And... Trap crafting. Okay. Cool. All right, we're definitely taking uh, the magazine bundle here. Okay. She's got a fetch. That fetch job's a long ways away. So let's do. Let's do another I clear. Passing gas. Store to... number 10. This is dangerous work, but I uh, there's no way we're going to attempt a buried treasure quest until we have a, a vehicle of some sort. Uh, because, remember, we have nightmare speed zombies all the time. So when the zombies come in, when you're doing the buried treasure quest, they're running. So, yeah, not going to do that. Okay, let's sell a few things to her. Um... We'll sell the electrical parts. We'll sell the brass. We need to actually probably start thinking about hanging on to brass, though. Um, and probably lead, too. 
And yeah, we'll keep the spring. I have really... You know, at some point I need to try hand-to-hand -hand in this game. I've just not... You know, I've just avoided it all the time. Uh, let's sell her the crossbow bolts. And, yeah, I think that's good. Do we need to buy anything from her? Where's food? I don't think we do. Um, Thanks for the business. You're welcome. Stay safe out there. You too. Uh, we also have, you know, a bunch of stuff in here too, but I think we're actually okay on food. I think we are. Okay. So we have another job, but I don't know if I'm going to do that job tomorrow. Um, let's get back to the base. We'll read our magazine bundle, and then we're going to need to wrap up this episode. Tomorrow, what I'm going to do in-game is I'm going to go fetch all of our stuff from those two drop chests. And then I'm probably going to work on gathering resources and start figuring out what we're going to do for Horde Night 7. Oh, you know what? We never actually cleared this bottom room. But I did put a I did put a land claim block down. So that might have taken care of the rest of the Zeeks in here. Or it might not have. Let's just do it real quick. Here. I, I'll come down and harvest this leather tomorrow. I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, we came through here a few episodes ago. We have not looted this kitchen though. But before we go into the kitchen, let's take a quick look out here. Hey, there's a working medicine cabinet with vitamins. Fantastic. All right. Another food book. Another food book. Beautiful. Now we can make grilled meat. Oh, nice. Grilled meat, guys. And red tea. That's going to come in handy. Look at all these food books we're getting. This is amazing. We did put that one point in Master Chef, so that's part of what's happening here. We've already been through here, right? Yeah, this is that laundry room. Okay. Cool. Very good. So now we can make food that's not going to make us thirsty. That's a damn good thing if you ask me. Okay. So probably after Horde Night 7, we'll get to, we'll get to work on uh, improving this house a little more. And maybe even, you know, move downstairs. <clears throat> but... The problem with moving downstairs is unless we take steps to, um, you know, really secure the place, like with a moat or something like that, we always run the risk of a running horde coming through and just demolishing the house. That happened to me uh, before. So I'll have to kind of give that some thought. Um, it might be best for us to step in the attic for now until we're really well equipped. But before I let you go, let's open this up. And we've got three club crafting. We've got three seed crafting, goldenrod and chrysanthemum, okay. And look at that, spears. We can now make blue spears, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that is awesome. That is so awesome. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's put some stuff in here. Oh, uh, what time is it? Oh, man, it's almost, almost time. We need to get a little bit of, of grass. Or plant fiber. Let's just get some really quick. Look at that. A blue stone spear. That is a beautiful thing. Okay. So, um, yep. I'm going to let you guys go here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll, if I'll record day six. I might take the day off from recording. And just spend the whole entire day gathering resources and kind of figuring out, 
you know, what we're going to do for the horde base. And then either later on in the day on day six or the morning of day seven, I'll bring, we'll start the next episode where we will, uh, you know, do our, or get our horde base ready to go and then do the horde night. If I change my mind, which I always reserve the right to do, old guy's prerogative and all that, uh, you know, I might bring you back sooner, but otherwise, yeah, that's, that's the tentative plan for now. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button. How do I get this out of here? Um, it, oh, maybe it's not ready yet. Okay. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.